this may not seem, you know, to anyone else, but you see the mere fact of operationalizing this embassy. I mean, like getting this table in, <laughs> just making the embassy a reality, getting an ID number for the embassy, allowing the embassy to be able to function as an embassy in this diplomatic context that took doing. You know, as a matter of fact, that is what actually took the two months between the 8th of August to the 7th of October, that operationalization um, in a physical infrastructural sense and in the bureaucratic sense, getting the details going. That to me is quite an accomplishment. It may not seem that way, but it is our little staff here of three, you know, we got going, really opened our doors and said, come, we are here now. We did that, as I said, on the 7th of October, and I consider that quite an accomplishment. So that's where we started. Okay, after that, getting prepared and getting ready for the celebration of the 40th anniversary of our independence, we had to put certain steps in place. So we were able to, I think, celebrate our 40th anniversary in a manner which made us proud, which made us feel that we were representing St. Vincent the Grenadines well all the way out here. We had basically four different events towards that end. And um, since then, we have been doing what I consider embassy things in terms of connecting with our students, looking at the various student issues that need to be addressed while we are out here. You see, one of the things we have to remember is that we have other student group, we have other students in Miami, London, New York, you know, various places and so, but in those places we have vibrant, active, Vincentian communities that could provide scaffolding and some sense of security for those students there. We don't have that there in Taiwan, here in Taiwan. In total, we are about 125 Vincentians in Taiwan, okay? And um, what Taiwan had had, what the Vincentian students had had here, and still have to a large extent, is Peggy, is Peggy Carr. Peggy has been the mother hen, as she calls herself. She has been the mother hen out here for, you know, quite some time. But I mean, there are issues, you know, it's too heavy for one person. The issues, you know, beyond and so on. And she, she was so, not an ambassador officially. No. And she was here working as on her Peggy own. has been here since, she's been here for 15 years, 2004, okay? And um, so the embassy now, with our embassy here now, we are able to step in and look more closely at the issues that our students have to address, our students have to deal with in, you know, making their path through their studies here. So I've been looking into different things like that that affect them and so on. Um, issues of visa, issues of their whole interaction with the various universities and so on you know just being a home away from home for them a home with some authority a home to give them some sense of security okay we have our minister counselor elroy wilson elroy prior to his posting here was um civil servant in the ministry of foreign affairs trade and commerce he was actually in Estonia. He did his master's in Estonia, particularly focused on international trade and international trade relations. Okay, so that's why he's particularly well suited for his office here. And well, as I say, he came up with me, as it were, not on the same plane, but at the same time, we got here together. So, and then we also have our secretary, Diana Chow. Diana is, I refer to her as Taiwanese Canadian in the sense that she did her high school, she did her undergrad in Canada, and she did her master's in Seattle, okay? Her English is wonderful. Interestingly as well, Diana also worked in this embassy, when I say in this embassy building with the um, Marshall Islands. She worked for about five years at the Marshall Islands as their secretary. We are looking towards establishing um, non-resident relations with countries in the region 
other countries in the region, for example, Japan, um, South Korea, Singapore. So we are looking towards that from this embassy. So in a case like that, we may need more staff. So tell me a little bit more with that. Expand on that if you will, if you can. The relationship between St. Vincent and Asia, mm -hmm. because Asia mm -hmm. is yes. The 21st century belongs yes. to Asia. Yes, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. So Taiwan is a phenomenal country that's moving forward at the speed mm -hmm. of light, I think. Mm -hmm. And now we have an ambassador in place. Mm -hmm. How is this? Is that, is that the new thrust for St. Vincent through you, through the embassy? One here? of our new thrusts, one of our new important thrusts.